we take a look at some of the strangest and most amazing new drones. Flying humanoid robots are now a real thing, and the next level bipedal flying robot has just been developed. This particular drone can walk a slack line, hop, and even ride skateboards. Its thrusters are controlled in conjunction with its legs, and this allows it to stand upright when it moves. Leonardo will eventually be equipped with a drone landing control algorithm, which would allow it to decide when to walk, fly, or even use a hybrid motion. And hopefully it won't be outfitted with a rocket launcher. At number 6, the VBAT 128. One of the more advanced vehicles out there ditches GPS altogether and relies on inertial navigation systems which include accelerometers and even gyroscopes. With pre-programmed flight paths to automate orbits, VBAT is fully autonomous from launch to recovery. Its fixed wing design also allows it to transition from VTOL to a high-speed lateral flight with an endurance of around 11 hours. The aircraft's duct fan propulsion design also eliminates exposed rotors which are commonly found in propeller-driven VTOLs. As of right now, the drone is more meant for military use, so you probably won't see this in your local hobby shop anytime soon. We reach number 5 and it's the Dokomo Drone. A Japanese company has developed a stable blimp craft for videography and even a standalone attraction. The Dokomo uses helium to remain airborne and produces ultrasonic vibrations to move. This in turn provides thrust, but it's also very slow so it's more of a stationary kind of setup. The drone is able to be controlled via communication network for easy systemized operation, including automated flight. But as of right now, the drone is not for sale and it's more in a prototype phase. At number 4, the Spirit. Modeled from the Sprite drone, this new variant features two counter-rotating set of rotor blades. These, along with its four foldable landing struts, allows this craft to have a high degree of modularity. This in turn allows it to accept different hardware designs such as a gimbaled camera or even an infrared sensor. It can carry around 10 pounds of payload with a maximum flight time of around 38 minutes. Spirit can be controlled by remote or through its autopilot system designed by Autodyne. Once again, this is kind of a upgraded and new variant of the Sprite and it's more meant for military use. Now we get into the extreme stuff, and some of you have heard about this before with the AB5 version, but now there's a jet-powered VTOL called the AB6. This can theoretically achieve a speed of 250 miles per hour, so it's probably going to be once again for military use. It's a pretty advanced platform with integrated thrust vectoring and generators for powering cameras or even onboard sensors. The AB6 can fly for around 25 minutes and carry around 40 pounds. Users can program waypoints or control it through a SATCOM system, which basically has unlimited range. With a price tag of around $100,000, it's definitely not for everyone out there. Combined with the Leonardo drone, we can potentially have flying humanoid robots with rocket launchers within the next couple of years. Moving on, we get to the Dronut X1. Clear Robotics has come up with this concept a few years ago and it's not your typical drone. It is highly maneuverable in tight areas thanks to thrust vectoring. It's also equipped with a 3D LiDAR, 4K camera, along with a Snapdragon processor which gives it AI capabilities. This hardware gives Clio obstacle avoidance without GPS. Ultimately, it can perform inspections in confined or dangerous areas, but this comes at a very steep price tag of around 10 grand. Nevertheless, it has a very safe design, and I'm sure we'll see more simplified versions of this in the future. We have seen drones which utilize cutting-edge autonomy and new forms of propulsion. But there are a few people out there who have built very amazing homemade crafts. Ethan Cross has designed and built an ion-propelled vehicle which has an onboard power supply. And this is pretty amazing because many people thought this kind of design was impossible due to the weight restrictions. His vehicle can now fly with 240 milliamp hour batteries and it's controlled via RC. Total flight time amounts to roughly a minute, but it could very well be possible to automate with a base station. Anyways, it's one of the more fascinating RC developments out there. So make sure to check out that YouTube link in my description. At number one, the winged microchip. The smallest ever man-made flying structure is smaller than an ant's head. Instead of having a complex motor, the drone spins like a helicopter through the air towards the ground. When dropped at a high elevation, it falls at a controlled velocity. These microflyers can be outfitted with sensors, power sources, antennas for communications, and embedded memory for storage. They can also be deployed as a swarm from an aerial vehicle for monitoring environments, 
or getting into hazardous areas. So yes, there are definitely micro flying machines out there. And it's only going to be a matter of time until we get to a nano sized version, which you don't even see at all. But I would like to know what you think about all this. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.